Hey, it's Sonia from A Couple Cooks. Today I'm gonna to show you how to perfectly cook sweet potatoes in an Instant Pot. Now, why would you want to cook sweet potatoes in an Instant Pot instead of baking them? Well, the cook time is a little bit shorter. Also, it cooks them perfectly every time. They're very moist and they have a kind of velvety interior. And also, it's completely hands-off, which is great for us when we're making lots of components in our kitchen. So all you need to get started is one cup of water and four sweet potatoes. It's helpful if they're all the same size, roughly, so that they'll cook at the same rate. The ones we're using today are medium to large. They're about 10 to 12 ounces each. We'll be cooking our sweet potatoes on the high pressure cook. And to do so, we'll need this trivet. So put that right in the bottom of your Instant Pot and then place your potatoes inside. You can stack them if you need to. And then pour in one cup of water. Okay, then just put on the lid of the pressure cooker, lock it into place, and then this is important, turn the valve to ceiling. All right, let's get cooking. Plug in the Instant Pot and press pressure cook. Make sure the pressure level is set to high pressure. Then use the plus and minus buttons to set the time for the recipe. For this one, it's 16 minutes. And that's it. The pressure cooker will immediately start to come to temperature and then start the cooking. Now, one thing that I learned that I didn't know about a pressure cooker is that it has to preheat. So it has to come up to pressure. This takes about 10 minutes, but it varies per recipe. So make sure to account that time when you're planning during your meal prep. Once the Instant Pot comes to temperature and starts cooking, the numbers will start to go down until they reach zero and the Instant Pot will beep. At this point for this recipe, we are going to use the natural release process. And this means that the Instant Pot will naturally cool down and let go of some of the pressure. So after the pressure cooker beeps, make sure to set a timer for 10 minutes so you don't miss it. We've had that problem in the past. <laughs> That's it, just unlock the top and you're ready to go. And that's it, perfectly cooked sweet potatoes every time. For more recipes and ideas on what to do with your cooked sweet potatoes, visit acouplecooks.com. See you next time.